Hi everyone. Today we're talking about uh, prepping for the Kutztown Folk Festival. I'm sure you've probably heard, uh, we are gonna be one of the uh, new featured vendors that is going to, that are going to be in the quilt barn. Um, so as soon as you walk in the door, we should be on the left-hand side in the middle of the room um, while you take in all the racks of amazing quilts that are for sale. So our items will be there as well. One of the things that I really love about vending is uh, people's reaction when they see everything that we've uh, kind of pulled together to make this happen. Uh, when they take in the pieces and they're always usually excited and they're like, what do you do? And uh, it's so refreshing to see our pieces through their eyes where they walk up and they just take it in and they're always surprised or amazed and they just really love it. And that's one of the things that I love about vending is, you know, it gets a little dull when I look at it every day and, you know, things can get a little stale. But when someone new comes up and they take it in for the first time, that's a really great experience. So we have vended in a lot of different versions in a lot of different places. Um, most recently in the fall, we did the Berry Basket Festival, which was a phenomenal success for us. Uh, it was a huge quilters audience. They loved what we were doing. So many of them would come up and be like, we get a quilt and a chair. So it was a really great experience for us. Uh, we did some South Jersey Ladies Nights Out. Um, those were good. And we also did an Atlantic City show uh, where the weather in December was uh, phenomenal, so no one really came to the show. But it was still a good experience. Um, there's always setting up and tearing down, learning uh, tricks of the trade from other vendors. If it's really kind of dull, there's always something to be learned in every experience, and that's how I treat vending in different environments, different places, different times of the week. We get uh, pieces of furniture from all over the place. Uh, we've gotten a lot from Facebook Marketplace. We've gotten some from my friends calling me with curb alerts or, hey, my grandmother's getting rid of a chair. All over the place we get pieces. And when we get a piece, uh, we work into the piece. All that to say, we make the quilt specifically for the piece of furniture. They're all brand new quilts and they're all made to size and scale for the piece of furniture. Take this one for example. Um, this is a black and white quilt with pops of color and it had this like feature piece right here, a, like a medallion that we wanted in the center. The covered buttons are hidden nicely with the colors in the quilt. It's very specific to this piece, which is one of the things that makes Olive and Owl furniture so incredibly unique. This piece is not replicated anywhere else. This is a one of a kind piece, such as the quilt and also married up with the piece of furniture. So that's one of the things that we think is really exciting about what we do here. We're gearing up to be in uh, the quilt, the Kutztown Folk Festival quilt barn. Uh, we're gonna be one of the very select vendors in the actual barn. So come and see us there. And the Cutstown Quilt Festival, or I'm sorry, Folk Festival, is a very well known uh, quilt vending uh, arena. They sell all kinds of different quilts, and there are all kinds of different uh, colors and patterns. It's really an amazing event. I know so many people travel all over the country for this festival, and the quilts are kind of the centerpiece, but it's also a huge vending experience. There's all kinds of makers and craftsmen and all kinds of different things to take in, and not even to mention the food, which of course, you know, uh, central Pennsylvania food is just like amazing. And it's gonna be really exciting to see how people react to this, because it's gonna be our first time there. And it's really an exciting experience and we're really looking forward to it. We have been making a lot of smaller pieces, uh, footstools and chairs, things like that. A lot of uh, what you would probably call cash and carry pieces. Uh, they tend to do very well when we vend in other events and I'm expecting the same as, uh, with this event as well. So we'll uh, see how we do, uh, but a lot of them are also a little bit more of the traditional side of quilting, lots of stars, more earthy tones, uh, things that uh, would be a little less modern, a little less edgy, but uh, we still have plenty of that around here. 
Um, but we know that our Kutztown uh, clientele would probably appreciate the little bit more of the traditional twist. So some takeaways from previous vending experiences is always double check everything you've packed. <laughs> You always think you have everything, you're always missing something. So we've done this enough times where, I mean, even though we have the list, even though we've got it all checked off, there is inevitably something that will go wrong. You know, kind of like the wedding or the prom or any big event in your life, you just gotta roll with it and you gotta figure it out. So I'm sure this experience will be no different. Not that I'm expecting everything to go wrong or even one thing to go wrong, but as much as I plan, I know in my heart there will always be something and it's gonna be a great experience no matter what. We're really looking forward to being a vendor at the Kutztown Folk Festival. Uh, we're really excited. Uh, we're gearing up right now uh, at this point in time. It's a few weeks away, uh, so we're still working up some more final last minute pieces to be able to feature. And I'm really looking forward to people's reactions. I think we're gonna be kind of in the right genre of quilt loving people. And I think they're really gonna be appreciative of what we've done here and the creativity of what's happening uh, and kind of the fresh and newness of what's going on here. So I'm really excited to see uh, how everybody takes it in and the response to it.